British scientists are calling a new vaccine against malaria potentially world-changing. A team at Oxford University has developed a vaccine that could reduce malaria deaths by 70 percent by the year 2030. Clinical trial results published in The Lancet show it could give up to 80 percent protection from the disease. Abby Kugadasen is on that story. She's in London for us today. Abby, tell us more about what the Oxford researchers have discovered. Yeah, there is some great news today that this R21 vaccine could help eradicate malaria. It has shown to offer 80% protection, as you mentioned. That meets the World Health Organization's efficacy standard, and the findings come out of trials conducted in Burkina Faso. It included more than 400 children under the age of two, and the results show that three initial doses with a single booster shot given a year later provides that 80% protection. They did not note any serious side effects. And Professor Adrian Hill at Oxford, who worked on developing the vaccine, says this medicine could eliminate malaria globally by 2040. But first, they're looking to have it approved by the World Health Organization next year after they provide further results that involves thousands of people. Yeah. What are some of the challenges, Abby, in getting this vaccine into the arms of people who need it so desperately? Professor Hill says international organizations mostly provide the funding for vaccines given to children in Africa, organizations like UNICEF or the Global Fund. And Global Fund provides more than half the money used by malaria programs around the world. The United Kingdom is the third largest donor to the organization, but the new prime minister, Liz Truss, may be looking to slash these donations. So the country that has developed this life-saving medicine may prevent it from being distributed more widely. Now, this is a disease that kills one child every minute, and the deaths occur almost entirely in Africa. In 2020, about 95 percent of cases and deaths occurred on the continent. Children under the age of five account for most of those deaths. So this vaccine is a major breakthrough, according to scientists. The, re the researchers say it is inexpensive, and they have already secured a deal to manufacture 100 million doses. Again, they are hoping for WHO approval next year. Abby, thank you so much. Abby Kugodasen in London.